All right, we're going to learn to do some lead guitar business. We're talking about lead guitar, the fun stuff. A lot, of, a lot of rock and roll and blues is in the key of A. So let's find an A note. This is going to be 7th fret, which you find on a Fender with these uh, black dots. Like First dot is 3rd fret. 2nd dot is 5th fret. 3rd dot is 7th fret. Now we're going to find the 4th string. The skinny one's first. Second string's B, third string's G, fourth string's D. That's what we're looking for. Fourth string, seventh fret. And use the ring finger. We're going to press down on that note and hit it with the pick. That's A. And that's the center of the action today. All right. Get used to finding that note. And let it ring out. Don't choke it. We want a nice ringing out note for now. So, now we're going to add a little action in there. We're going to come from a G to an A. G is 5th fret, 4th string, same string. Index finger. G, A. Now we're going to add a C, which is on the third string, fifth fret with your index finger. So it's going to be G, A, C, A. Check it out. G, A, C, A. sounds really good. So you get a little attitude and a little feeling in there. It sounds cool. That's three notes. G, A, and C. picking hand is sitting on the bridge so I'm not kind of using my whole arm I'm just using I'm putting the weight of my arm onto this corner of my hand it's sitting on the bridge then I can do a number on that string as I wish doing some down up picking down ups make it faster and easier seventh fret fifth string right here we're going to use the ring finger that's going to go e g a so it is very important you learn these notes if you can learn their names that's going e g a and we'll add the c whoa cool Right hand's going like. Woo. So I'm just working it out. For one more note, it's a D, which is on the seventh fret of the third string. The ring finger is going to hit it. So I'm just sort of stumbling up and down the set of notes. You don't have to play exactly like I'm playing. You can play, if you're just getting started, nice and slow. 
One, two, three, four, five. Now, let's add something to this that will make it a little more exciting. We're going to bend the D note up to sound like an E. It's going to look like this. So I'm going to go. So, when you bend that string, um, I like to use three fingers when I can. Three fingers lined up in a row on the same string. Fifth fret, sixth fret, and seventh. Three on a string, you're gonna push with triple power. So I'm gonna hit that string and push it up. With control. Now I'll hit it bent and let it down. That's so cool. Playing through a Fender amp just always sounds great. I'm gonna put on a little tremolo. Maybe increase the reverb just for fun. So that's that G A C A. Maybe we'll bend it. Man, that's a handful of notes. You got uh, like one, two, three, four, five, six with the bend. So yeah, I'm getting right into that string with the kind of center of my fingertip. Um, and just taking control of that string and pushing it with control, not fast. I'm not going, I'm bending slow and careful. And letting it, then I pick it when it's high and let it down. So work on those bends. Let's add a couple more things. I'm going to add a slide into this E. So I get up to that E. And sometimes you might go a little too far like this. That's okay. Just bring it back down. Or what if you don't go far enough? That can be all right. That can sound pretty cool, actually. When you make a mistake, it's like, hey, that was unexpected. And it's, you know, you can't get beat yourself up if you miss a note. Just keep going. And uh, you'll, you'll get it perfect next time. Maybe. So, spend some time with that. Let's add a little bit more. I'm going to add my favorite thing, a flat shape on my index finger. Fifth fret, two skinny strings. Press down with two skinny strings, only those two, and hit those two with the pick like this. So the pick just slices through two strings as you hold the flat shape. That's a pretty easy thing to do and it sounds pretty huge. So we'll see if we can add all that. Cool. That worked pretty good. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna do that little bend and then the two skinny strings together again. So we got the bend, two skinny strings. Let's take a look at my right hand when I do that same thing. Oops, I missed. Well, I could go on and on, but I'm going to try to wind it up with one last little idea. Very simple. All we're going to do is that bend and the flat shape 
but we're going to hit the flat shape one string at a time, like this. Only I'm going to keep it laying flat here. So, to uh, summarize... That's pretty rock and roll. Well, you know what I'm going to say. Just keep practicing. Have fun. Thanks for looking. See ya.